Hi, I'm Tasha Keeney, Director of Investment Analysis and Institutional Strategies for ARK Invest. And today I'll be joined by Daniel McGuire, our Associate for Autonomous Technology and Robotics. We believe Robotaxis will be one of the largest AI opportunities of our time. And we expect roughly $28 trillion in enterprise value to be created in 2030 thanks to Robotaxis or Autonomous Ride Hail. So to kick it off, why do we care about autonomous ride hail? Well, the cost of personal mobility really hasn't changed in the past 100 years since the Model T. And that's changing now. We expect that at scale, a robotaxi could cost a consumer just 25 cents per mile. That's less than half the cost of a personal car and less than a tenth of the cost of a taxi today. This is a super dramatic cost decline, um, and we think that this will drive consumer adoption of autonomous ride hail. Autonomous taxis will be much safer than personally driven cars, um, but ultimately they will be cheaper, and that's what makes them such an attractive opportunity. You can think the 25 cents as the lowest price point that a robotaxi operator or a service provider could charge a consumer and still make a profit although we do believe that higher price points could exist, and I'll get to that in a bit. And we often get this question, are robotaxis here? You know, when are robotaxis coming? And the fact of the matter is, they're already operating today. Um, so we saw that last year, the run rate of commercial autonomous rides reached over 2 million trips on an annualized basis. And, we, and robotaxis are already in over 20 cities globally, and seven have commercial operations. You see companies like Baidu in China complete, com, completing um, many rides. You have Waymo here in the US. Um, and notably, Tesla has not launched fully autonomous rides yet. Um, but it's really a question of who will get to scale first. And that's where Tesla comes in. So if you look at the graph on the right, you can see that um, Tesla customers today are driving more than 2 million miles a day in FSD or full self-driving mode alone. Um, so they're actually driving more miles than that, uh, just not with FSD enabled. So all of that data can be used by Tesla to pull from, um, to look at corner cases, to train its full autonomy efforts. And that data is incredibly valuable when you're teaching a car how to drive itself. Um, so data is really king or queen here. And not only are robotaxis already here. They're also proving to be safer than humans. Um, so this is adjusted for non-highway driving or surface or city streets, um, which is actually more accident prone on a per mile basis on average. Um, but we already see that Tesla's data suggests that using FSD is roughly five times safer than not using it or than driving your Tesla yourself. It's also safer than the national average, and we see that Waymo is also operating at a rate that is safer than the national average for accidents. Notably, Cruise's accident rate is actually below the national average, and we saw them getting in an accident uh, roughly once every 43 miles. Um, so this could actually be the reason why they were sidelined by regulators and why they're basically no longer operational today in the US, um, because they were taking on that additional risk. But overall, again, the point here is that we're already seeing autonomous cars that are safer than human drivers. And not only will autonomous cars save lives um, lost to auto accidents, but also due to emissions. Um, so today, emissions contribute to roughly 10,000 deaths a year in the US. And uh, thanks to autonomous technology, autonomous cars will actually accelerate the transition to electric miles versus gas, um, because we believe that the cost decline, that 25 cents per mile, is enabled by a much higher utilization rate than today's personally driven cars. Um, autonomous cars could get above a 50% utilization rate, so slightly above taxis today, in other words. Um, so this will push a disproportionate number of miles electric. So ultimately, we believe that autonomous electric cars could save roughly 10,000 lives per year lost to emissions. Um, and again, autonomous technology will make this happen faster than it otherwise would have as the fleet transitions to electric. And I think an important question to consider here 
is has this new wave of AI that we've seen over the past year, the advent of ChatGPT and so many other groundbreaking models actually benefited autonomous driving companies? And the answer is absolutely. So large language model breakthroughs have enabled text-based training, validation, and self-explanations from AI models. And if you think of an autonomous driving model that can explain itself, of course, this could be really attractive to regulators and could help for approvals. Multimodal models combining text and images allow for better autonomous driving training, and generative AI is useful for uh, simulation for autonomous vehicles as well. And a, a great embodiment of this uh, progress is if you look at their Eureka paper published last year, we saw that ChatGPT4 was used to train a neural network that ultimately performed better than human expert coders in simulation for robotic tasks. So we saw that over 80% of tasks uh, were performed better with a neural network versus the human, and there was um, more than a 50% improvement margin on average on those tasks. So already we see that AI is, is better than humans, at, again, performing physical robotic tasks. And ultimately, we think that the total addressable market for robo-taxis is roughly an $11 trillion market. That's a huge opportunity. And as I said in the beginning, we think that higher price points, um, so equivalent to what ride hail, human-driven ride hail price is at today, in the 2 to $4 range, will be possible in the early days of service. We see a lot of opportunity in the $1 to 60 cents range. If you look at how consumers value their time, there's another large swath of demand available um, at rates equivalent to what we see being charged in China at roughly 50 cents per mile. And then lastly, at 25 cents per mile, this really opens up the market to consumers that are not in the ride hill market today. So that's why you think you see the 11 trillion, which is a much greater opportunity than the existing ride hail market, which is worth hundreds of billions today. And it's thanks to autonomous technology, because that's what raises utilization rates and brings the cost per mile down, making um, robo-taxis accessible um, to many people. Uh, so that's where the magic happens. And we believe that early adopters or companies that are early to scale robo-taxi platforms should benefit the most, um, because these are the companies that will be able to capitalize on higher initial price points for autonomous ride hail. Um, they should have more attractive earnings profiles. As you can see in the graph here, we think that in the first roughly half of urban miles traveled that are addressed by autonomous driving, um, this is where the lion's share of the earnings economics will be. We think the proliferation of robo-taxis will push what is already an all-time high auto loan delinquency rate into unknown territories over the next 10 years. And importantly, when you think about the composition of these auto loans, most are for gas-powered vehicles. On the other hand, in 2023, you had EV players like Tesla aggressively cutting prices. And we believe this trend could continue for the EV industry as a whole, thanks to rights law and falling manufacturing costs. So we already know EVs are coming down. And when coupled with autonomous capability, they will become revenue-generating assets, making them significantly more valuable than gas-powered vehicles. Tying this all together, we believe the accelerated adoption of autonomous EVs could decrease the value of gas-powered vehicles, posing a threat to the roughly $1.6 trillion of auto loans currently sitting on financial institutions' balance sheets. We believe that by 2030, the companies that operate robo-taxi services or the autonomous platform providers could enjoy a $28 trillion enterprise value opportunity. And to put that in perspective, that's roughly nine times the value of the automaker industry today. Importantly, the robotaxi companies of the future may not be the automakers of today or the ride hill companies of today. In fact, we see the market consolidating. Um, and basically, every company today that is involved in the auto supply chain should partner with or be one of the companies that is a leader in autonomous technology.